Okay, so this is gonna be a video on how to make scars. This is <laughs> Yuri, and this is the first thing. Turn around, Yuri. <clears throat> and see, it looks it looks pretty real if you're not on the camera because it, you can see all the bright colors. The camera picks up all the bright colors. But <clears throat> this is a new test subject, or if you're using yourself, this is Naomi. Oh yeah, I'm Raylan. And you're gonna need like random assortment of makeup and colors. I suggest like br blue for breathing. <laughs> Shut up, Naomi. Yuri. Um, like browns and stuff. You're also gonna need liquid makeup. You can get like cheap. This is only like 50 cents. Um, some little pad things to use. And you're also gonna need some cheap powder makeup. Mine isn't cheap, but I don't use that stuff anymore. And um, some like yeah, pretty much just that. Something to spread it with. This is just a really old concealer thing. And brushes, like uh, multiple kinds of brushes. And what I use, you can get um like actual. Let me see if I have it with me. <clears throat> you can get actual skin stuff to use. Like this is called nose and scar wax. It's just like. This wax stuff, it's really hard, and you take it out and you put it on the skin, it's like sort of skin colored, so then you can just color it. <clears throat> I have those. <clears throat> and you could get like spirit gum and spirit gum remover and put on some like random stuff, I don't know. Or I got um out of the hair section. It's just like this really crappy hair stuff oh. to put in your hair. And it's like it's pretty solid and it's sticky, and so it sticks to your skin really well. And uh yeah, it's called Murray Superior Promade, yeah, something like that. Um but yeah, I'm not to do it, and I'm gonna show you how to make them. Bye. Okay, so whatever you're using, you're gonna need something to spread it with, like a cake thing or like a butter knife, like a doll butter knife. And what you do is you take it and you scoop it out. Like that, if I can take that out. You scoop it out. <laughs> and you get a lot of it. And then give me your arm. You just like set it on like that. And make it like clumpy. And I'll come back in a second and show you what it looks like. <clears throat> okay. So once you have it like all laid out on your arm, like she's very pale, I apologize. Hey, it's the pale people. <laughs> you it's like whatever you using to spread it. And if you're doing this on someone else, be very careful so not to hurt them. And take it and cut through the middle of it so it makes like a slit. And I messed it up a lot, so it's not that thick, but you have to remember, if you're doing something like on a wrist or something, there's not that much skin on someone's wrist. So it's really not gonna matter if it's not that deep when it's on their wrist. Because, because it's just like, there's not that much skin anyway, so it's not gonna look that bad. Alright, next what you do is you put the liquid makeup on there, and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so now that you have your... No, keep videoing. Hi! <laughs> Yuri is videoing. Now that you have... Your Naomi all cut up and everything. You put your liquid makeup on top of it. You just sort of like make sure not to mess up here, but you can smooth it out with the brush that you use. Um, next. Sorry, it hurts when we do that for so long. <laughs> you need to put the liquid makeup further up so that you can like show bruising and stuff. Um, where not where this is if you have something like bruised. Like this. Yeah, like. Yuri's on there, that I didn't right put there, makeup okay. very far up, <laughs> and it just looks like looks elephant worse. skin. <laughs> Stop! Anyway, <laughs> um, next what you're gonna do is you're gonna put like a powder makeup on it. This is Bare Minerals, I'm not gonna use that. This is not. Anyway, you're gonna put like a powder makeup over it. Um, you pretty much have to use a lot in one time. So you would do like this, and you see how it's all clumpy, and then you just sort of pat it all over. And you will need a towel. Point it down. Pat. <laughs> towel! Towel down! She's not very good at this. And I would suggest using one a little bit darker than your skin tone, which means for Naomi here, any color. Shut <laughs> up! It's darker than her skin tone. So you just sort of put it down wherever you have the liquid makeup and put it down if you put it down thick do you have to do that so aggressively shut up naomi no, if you put it down thick up, it turns it a little bit darker than what it would have been and see how it sort of looks like bruising yeah that's what it's, it's like supposed to look like <laughs> shut up stop talking i'll talk when i want to not about this oh. <laughs> anyway <laughs> You put it down over that, and don't make it clean. Don't make it like really clean at all, because you don't bruise cleanly very often. <laughs> I'm coming back over here. Okay, now come back over there. So you just keep patting it down, and I'll come back when I finish doing that. Okay, so now that you have everything covered, um. What you're going to want to do is take something, like, a little bit darker than what you used on her. It would pretty much be any color darker than the first color you used. Um, so darker than white. <laughs> and <laughs> you take it and you do it inside of the lines that you just did. So it looks like darker bruising. 
and you don't want to do it exactly over what you just did so that it looks like that the skin is fading out. <sighs> Whoopsie, wrong curtain. <clears throat> because bruises generally will get gradually darker as they go out. You're still going to want to put bruising on the inside. And when you put it over... Stop! When you put it over whatever skin color you did, um, it'll make it a little bit darker already, so going out wouldn't be that bad. <sighs> but you still don't want it to be too dark over places that aren't closer to the scar or whatever you're doing. And know that if it's not like a scar that happened recently, it's not going to have much bruising at all. Because bruises don't really last long. A bruise on my ankle lasts a long time. Congratulations. But that's because I broke it. <laughs> and once you do that, uh, you pretty much... She's... Why are you doing that? <laughs> because it was irritating me. Then you're going to want to put like a, a blue or a green or purple. Let me see if I can find it. <clears throat> of course I can't. Oh. So something like has multiple blues and greens and purples or something like that in it. And you're going to want to put it over the uh, darker color that you just did. But I would put this a lot closer to the scar than the other things and don't make it exactly where the scar just was because then it'll look like it'll look fake so spread it out a little bit and then put the skin tone back over it and it just makes it look like bruising I don't know if you can tell you might be able to but yeah um I'm gonna just do it I'll, I'll come back when that's finished after you put all the bruising and everything on, it looks sort of gruesome. Um, you're gonna put some, need to put some like red on it, just to make it more of a skin color. The bruise. Do you want me to hold it? No, I got it. Like, just put it around it wherever you think it's necessary, and I'll come back after. Okay, so I added some like pinks, and I made it sort of look like somebody grabbed her like that. Um, now what you need is you need to add fake blood. Hey Yuri. You want to give him more iced tea? <laughs> Sweetie, but anyway, uh, you could use something like you don't have to. <laughs> red lip gloss or nail polish. I have um, studio blood from a yeah. costume store. You guys are laughing. I have studio blood from a costume store Sorry. that I have. Bring the blood in here that Yuri is going to bring in here. And then uh, what you do is you pour it or you place it over the, I can zoom in and make it clear, you pour it or place it over the cut and inside of the cut and put it around the cut a little bit to make it look like you uh, like cut yourself. This isn't really a scar tutorial, more like a cut tutorial. Scars just sound cooler. Anyway, I'll show you that when I finish. Okay, so I added the fake blood. It's just a little shiny because it, it stays Wait, wet looking, <laughs> but it looks, it doesn't look too bad. And you can see it's sort of indented. They would have left her arm up. You have a heavy arm. Thank you. You can see it's raised. But uh, anyway, it looks pretty good. You can see it better though. It looks pretty good. Well, um, this is what the fake blood looks like. It's like a blood effects gel. And you have to heat it first before you use it. Which sort of sucks, but anyway, it's still cool. You can tell that's what it looks like. High five. Anyway, you can move around here, move your arm. You can move around and stuff in it, and it's not going to really do anything. Does it stain? It, it doesn't stain your arm. No, clothes. Yeah, it'll, I think it'll stain clothes, probably. Yeah, most likely. Um, I suggest having wipes or something nearby, because if you mess Can up, I take my arm back? it's easier to clean up things, yeah. Anyway, 
Bye. Say bye. 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 Nice meeting you. Bye.